Liberty University doubles down after Jerry Falwell denies reports of his resignation. So let's get into some sex scandal juiciness. <laughs> okay. Um, officials at Liberty University, one of the nation's largest and most well-known Christian universities, are doubling down after Jerry Falwell Jr. denied reports that he agreed to step down as president following allegations of sexual behavior at odds with the school's honor codes. The latest breach between Falwell and the university comes on the heels of an investigation published by Reuters in which Falwell's former business par partner, Gran Giancarlo Granda, uh, claimed he had a multi-year sexual relationship with Falwell's wife, Becky, which involved Falwell looking on while the pair engaged in sexual acts, AKA he enjoyed being cuckolded. Um, Wait, is that what it's called? That's, a, that's, that's, a that's what the fetish is called? Yeah, you're a cuck. That's where it comes okay. from. Um, oh, yeah, okay. If, if, if you are married and your wife sleeps with another man, no, you become no, no, a that's not, that's not what the fetish... No, no. Okay, so you don't understand we'll, what we'll, like. we'll get to that in a second. Okay, okay. Um, so Liberty University, whose campus is in Lynchburg, Virginia, holds its students to a strict moral code, which includes prohibitions on sex outside of marriage and same-sex relationships. A statement released late Monday evening by Liberty's spokesman, Scott Lamb, said that, quote, matters came to light, which made it clear that it would not be in the best interest of the university to return from leave and serve as president, end quote. So, okay, guys, be careful not to kink shame anybody. Exactly. Okay? This is not about kink shaming. No. This is about pointing hypocrisy. Yes. Okay. This would be not an issue at all if these people were not pretending that they have a different stand that they that in public they have a different standard for everybody else and they want to call out everybody for their what they called yeah. sexual depravity and like degeneracy or whatever the crap they call it their version of haram right if mm -hmm. they weren't if they if they weren't calling if they weren't such hypocrites. We were like, great, enjoy it. By the way, this is not being, I think being a cocky just means like wanting, like, I think this is something else. Watching your wife doing, wanting to do it is something, is a different thing than no. just, no, really? Well, that, okay. There's additional levels to it, right? Uh, so know. just the, the definition of a cuckold is a, a married man who's been cheated on. You you have been okay. Made so a that's couple. what it is. Okay, okay, but this is different. This is you. Well, you're not being cheated no, no, on. No. This is it's, like it's it's it cheating on literally just in terms of having sex outside of that marriage. That's what I. Mean. That's not cheating though. If if you if you have it, an understanding <laughs> with your wife that this is something you both enjoy. Okay, let me be more clear. Any okay, yes, sex out, <laughs> any sex outside of that married union mm -hmm. that the woman engages in makes her husband a cuckold. That's bullshit, though. The I mean, people, yes, it, it is because cuck, because if cuck is used as an insult, then it's so it's basically kink. So the word cuck is kink shaming people. Then so cuckold is an old term. Like this is a mm. really old term that goes back a long ways, right? Um, it, it's uh, but it, it has recently become a, a different kind of internet insult, right? So mm. the um, often just refer to a cuck as a man who is not strong enough to please his own woman. He's weak. He's not manly. Um, it's a shot at or, masculinity, well, basically. So the other what way you were saying like... in, the, in the difference, though, is that so um, if being a cuckold is defined as the woman having sex with a man outside of that married union, that itself is cuckolding. But then you're talking about the additional layer of him enjoying watching it, allegedly. Right. No, yeah. yeah, but but my understanding is that a lot of conservatives use use cuck as an insult because they see the original thing that this came from as the most unmasculine thing yes. somebody could be, right? And but you could rephrase this as like, you know what? I am man enough to know what I want, and no god, nobody could tell me that my desires are you know, unworthy of being pleased or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like fuck, though. You could be like, oh, no, I am very strong and I'm going to be unabashedly, un without any shame, acknowledge that this is what I am. I love and I love watching my wife 
getting fucked by another dude, and I will not apologize for this, and I will satisfy my desires to the fullest degree that I could possibly. <laughs> like, you could be like, yeah, this is my strong position. Like, fuck the whole world. This is what I like. <laughs> And I will not deny that. So you can be like, you can make that like, you can you can <laughs> take it, make that like a strong position, right? I don't know. So oh my gosh, it's not king. It is king shaming. It is king shaming. Well, I using it as an insult, being derisive about it, uh, denigrating right. is king shaming. Would they, but that's would not. They, our, would, that's would not think why this, we're talking about. What if this. it was other? Uh, like, uh, I think these people are so. Um, so like unsure about their own masculinity that they think like they will become they think like by being offended about these things they should we will prove that they themselves are real men right yeah but would, by the way do you think it would it would be the other way around um like people see that as like oh my god you can't be a man if you want if you want that but what if they would probably think like oh my god you're such a if your wife said like oh i want you to see i want you to see you have sex with another woman right they would then be like oh my god you're the luckiest man alive your wife like wants to enjoy watching you have sex with another woman and you know they're like oh yeah that's mm. that's the height of masculinity like you have two women to please like you see this is just hypocrites they're just fucking hypocrites yeah Anyways, it depends on how much how of them um, a, a yeah. traditionalist you are some of them would still find that as just uh, enjoy what you like and go for it fuck anybody that says this is masculine or not masculine just it doesn't really matter if it is masculine or not. just figure out what you like and go for that but don't cheat on anybody just make sure whatever you do the other person that you're involved with completely understands and if it's okay they're okay with it it's not cheating if everybody is on board with it okay and don't be a hypocrite like this guy okay yeah don't so be a hypocrite there... don't go shame people for things that you you enjoy yourself right yeah so that that's yeah. why we're highlighting this right is because a very different he's holding a very different standard over the students that he has power over versus himself and this isn't the first um bit of a scandal he's been involved in recently so um oh see now you have a simp in the chat dirty dancer is saying armin okay. is my kink and i won't be shamed for it see the simps okay, come I out want, at night <laughs> i want a, i want a simp army that is purely female is that too much to ask <laughs> yes <laughs> okay good all right good um See, this is the benefit of being bisexual is that my simp army will have twice the members off top yeah it's it's I'm an not... equal oppor equal opportunity army yeah i can't so my I can't numbers are stronger but wait yeah, no you're... i wanted to say something else um <laughs> so um in the com the quote that i had at the end where they're saying oh it's not good for him to return from leave it would not be in the best interest of the university for him to return to leave he was previously put on leave by the university within the past couple of months because he posted a photo on his Instagram of him on a cruise with a woman a whole, next to a woman who is not his wife with both of their pants unzipped. And this caused like a big outrage amongst people at liberty university and he had to be put on leave and so he his defense was oh it was just a light-hearted joke and she couldn't zip up her pants because she's pregnant so i wanted to take a picture with my pants unzipped and like all this stuff and um it was really interesting when that first incident happened to see the outrage like legitimate outrage from the evangelical right from his community because i was following that as well um they had a huge problem with him posting that photo, which is like very innocuous. I thought it was funny. Um, yeah, and then so this comes down on him, this this expose, and then he's claiming that he's not resigning, and then the, the university itself is coming back, and they're like, no, like he's not coming back. Um, so it's a it's an evolving it's an evolving story um of of sex christianity and scandal. scandal yeah uh can we actually i don't i think it is i'm not sure what justin is saying here but i think i disagree with it justin is saying probably the best thing is to say no if a partner wants to have sex with other people why is that they're unhappy with you no. that's no that's crap i think Justin. i disagree with that if you guys if you are not jealous and you guys want to experience other people outside of your marriage 
and you're both okay with it, I think it's a healthy thing to do. I don't understand. Why do you have, why have rules when it's unnecessary, right? I don't know. Like, as long as both sides are okay with it. Like, again, as long as both sides are okay with it. So I don't understand what this, what it, why do you add unnecessary rules to your life? Um, you, yeah, what you matters prepare? is yeah. informed consent. Yes. All informed parties consent. having That's, informed consent. Yes. And yeah. And just because, yeah, just because you're enjoying something else, that doesn't mean that you en don't enjoy. You can enjoy multiple things at the same time, people. It's, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that, yeah. All right. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 